and I would say like three grad students. So, you know, everyone's just kind of playing their role, making sure everyone's ready. And, you know, I feel like it's a team effort more than just one person, which is different than most years, so, yeah. It's not just like coming up. How do you feel about your team's chances to go far in the A tournament, you know, a month down the road? I mean, I feel like, you know, we got a great team this year. You know, we believe in each other. We've got the confidence now. You see, you know, shooters are knocking down more shots. So I feel comfortable going into conference play just knowing that, you know, we got the team back. So. I mean, rebounding margin, you guys dominated today, doubled up their overall margin. Can you just talk about a little bit, like, going into the game? Like, what's your approach rebounding-wise? Um, I feel like just for, like, the fives and fours, our main goal is to just, you know, crash the offensive rebounds all the time even if you may not get it, but just to cause chaos, kind of. So, you know, I, think, I feel like that's just our mindset to just go every time, you know. So that's how you come out of the rebounds. And defensively, like, even when you guys were up, I think, like, 12, 15, like, you didn't stop showing that, you know, grit, that fire. Can you talk about a little bit, like, the effort, like, just in the practice every day, what goes into that? Um, I feel like Coach Blackett doesn't let us let up, you know. <laughs> you see at the end, he doesn't really take guys out like that. So I feel like it's just, you know, you just got to play to the end, play to your off and just, you know. Play it like it's the start of the game, right? That's all I got. Anybody else? You guys need anything or are you good? Are you all set? Okay, perfect. Thank, Thank you. you. Coach, you'll be in just a second. Okay, so he left. Microphone's hot. Uh, I think that Albany is a physical team. 
thought uh, they get, did a good job all night pressuring us. Sometimes we did a good job with it, sometimes we did not. Uh, 18 turnovers is entirely too many to find consistent success. Um, but when you shoot the ball um, at 50% in the second half, both from the field and from three, um, that can cover up a couple of those mistakes. So I thought, uh, you know, a little shake up in the lineup. I thought Lucas Monroe gave us good minutes, got us off to a good start. And uh, certainly adding Mate Okers back into the lineup. Okers and House go four for 11 from three. That, that makes a big difference for us. What do you got? Uh, What's your name? Finn Courtney. Finn, how you doing? Hey, good. How you doing? Rebounding was huge for you guys today, 54-26 margin. Can you talk a little bit about like going into the game, like what is your approach for the team rebounding-wise? Every game our approach is to win that rebounding battle. I thought we did a good job, not only on the defensive glass, but offensively um, to get uh, 19 offensive boards. And I thought some of those led to some critical kickouts, extra pass. We call them 12 balls, but, you know, made three-pointer on the heels of an offensive rebound. He ended up going for zero points of the possession and getting three and a little bit of momentum. So I thought we did a good job in that area. Amari, 14-11 today, back-to-back double-doubles for him. Can you talk about, like, just how important his impact is on the team? Well, uh, I think he's a very, very talented player who can do a lot of things in a lot of different ways. Right, certainly we know um, as the tallest guy on the floor, there's an expectation for him to score every time he touches it. That's not realistic. Um, he can impact the game um, offensively by passing and getting teammates open. Some setting some great screens. I thought he did a good job today with that. And then rebounding the basketball. He had five offensive rebounds. So a double-double was huge. Um, I think, uh, I know he had 11 rebounds today. He had 16 at the game against West Virginia. Uh, if you go back and do some research on the last guy to get 16 rebounds against West Virginia, it's uh, some pretty, pretty elite names, Blake Griffin, et cetera. So um, our goal is to be at our best every time we come out and play, and I'm not trying to give you cliche stuff for anyone else that's listening somewhere, but uh, I thought we were better today than we were at West Virginia. I thought we gave a couple games away in our schedule that are frustrating losses. It still kind of bothered me. Luckily, they don't stick with our guys as long. Um, but I thought um, Amari, Mate, and, and you got a couple of really hard cutters in Lucas Monroe and Mate Ogres. They cut aggressively. They create some open lanes. And then I thought our point guard play today with Justin Moore and Jamie Bergens was, was very, very solid. Kind of going off that, Jamie Bergens, kind of yeah. gave you guys a boost early on, 12-12 and it was tied, and then he hit a three, took a couple twos. Can you talk about his impact in game day? Uh, I thought it was really good. Really good, nine points, uh, three assists, four rebounds. Uh, and more importantly, I thought, that, you know, like you said, timely shots, energetic plays. Um, Albany really puts pressure on you. They heat you up a lot. Um, I thought we could have maybe taken a little bit better care of the ball. You know, a game like this with that type of pressure, if we're going to get layups, which we got late, maybe we could be in the 80s. Uh, but I thought Jamie Bergens did a good job getting out of some ball screen traps and finding guys. I think he found... Garfield Turner for a dunk, just going around it and trying to trap him. So when you got quick guards that are good with the ball, uh, it puts you in a situation to find success if you make the right decision. Coming out of the half, even with an eight-point lead, it looked like you guys put like pedal to the metal. You know, a couple threes early on. Can you yep. talk about like their continuing effort, continuing just grit almost? Yeah, Finn, we we have something we call bricks. We get three stops in a row. We call bricks. We want to build a wall of defense, and we keep track of that from year to year, game to game. Mm -hmm. And uh, we had 5.2 at the half, meaning the next stop was going to give us our sixth brick of the game. So um, we came out. I thought we were engaged. Um, you know, Coach Shea was at the scout. We knew what action they were going to potentially run. We were aware of it. So I thought we got a couple stops there. We had, I think, three or four stops in a row, followed by conversions at the other end, I think two layups and a three. So that was a 7-0 run where we defended well, where they weren't scoring and we were scoring. So that's where we got that margin, I think, to have a 15-point lead. So anytime you could do that, that's huge. You know, those you hear it in every college game, whether you're watching uh, Drexel Albany or UConn Gonzaga last night, those first few minutes, those first few possessions of the second half can really set the tone. And I thought we did a good job setting the proper tone for us today. Two more non-conference games for you. You're on a roll, man. You got any questions? Holy cow. All right. All right. No, no, I'm joking. I'm joking. You're doing good, Finn. You're doing a great job. He's, uh, in, the, he's in the zone. He's last the zone. question, I promise. Uh, so two more non-conference games for you coming up <laughs> next week. Then you're in CAA play. How do you feel about your team heading into that? 
I think that we, uh, you know, we've played a lot of guys. Um, excited you can get a win and, and, you know, certain guys have fewer minutes. Maybe it's a longer season. We've been able to manage minutes differently we have in the past. I think we've got some good depth. I think we're developing. Um, and we're not going to stop looking for different ways to maximize our potential. And that's what we're trying to do, just be at our absolute best. Uh, it's going to continue to evolve as we go through conference play as well. We know that. Um, but I think, uh, how do I like where we are? You want real talk? A couple of losses still bother me. Last Saturday bothers me. Temple bothers me. LaSalle bothers me personally. Um, Old Dominion bothers me, right? So whatever our record is, that's what people say we are. Um, I look at the five more than the six and think that some of those should be wins. And whatever I've done to be a part of that, um, it kind of keeps me up right now and those are the things. So can't live. There's a reason that the rear view mirror is smaller than the windshield. You, know, you can't live life backwards. Um, but um, those games piss me off. How about that? <laughs> that works. <laughs> Thanks, All right. Mark. Thanks, guys. We'll see you Monday. We got a great opportunity here. Campus is hopping today. We got the junior U.S. squash event taking place at the squash center. That place is packed. And then we've got an elementary school game, 11 a.m. on Monday. We're going to have 1,200 kids here. Bring your earplugs. It's going to be a great environment on Monday. All right? Thanks, guys. See you. Thank you.